Hey, I'm glad you joined me. I'm showing here how I made these two display cases with glass fronts out of ribbon striped mahogany plywood and walnut trim. Here you can see in the shop I've got the casework glued up and it still took quite a few clamps but when I start adding all the trim it'll really take quite a bit more. The next step after making these eight pieces and gluing them together was to glue in a triangular strip in the back to mask the screw holes that hang the shelf units so I had to add a little triangular piece to the back and at the top of each case. I went ahead and I pre-finished all of the interior space on the plywood before I put them together. Here you can see I used weights from the shop with um, cantilevered pieces resting on top of the triangular piece holding it down nice and tight. I put two blocks in the front and the back to keep the piece from moving on the shop table. It really made for a nice tight glue joint and held it in place very well. Around the face are these strips of walnut, North Carolina walnut, and those are made to sort of overlap each other. Here I am using my record to clean up the dado on the outside moldings. And since the moldings are made to wrap around the plywood, I had to notch the corner pieces that come up to the face so that they fit snugly and tightly interlocking and keeping one from moving on the other. As you can see it took even more clamps to just clamp those pieces on. Also notice that one of the pieces on the face is not glued in. It's milled like the rest but it's not glued in. Here you see me using my little uh, Stanley rabbit plane to get in this little groove just to clean it up so that the glass will slide smoothly into that groove. Now that the face is put on and the grooves match, I can get to fitting the glass into these two side grooves and making sure they fit, and then putting the top molding into place that has a deeper groove than the sides, as you can see there. And when you push it down, the groove will fit on the glass, and the little stem in the back stops that molding from going deeper past the plywood so it actually doesn't rest on the glass but fits in snugly. There you go. So that's pretty much the display case and you can see all of the corners match and blend in. Now for the inside spacers for the statues to rise up above the others. I used some mahogany that I got from an old pallet many years ago. It's been sitting here probably for 20 years. So I planed it out with my number four and um, put a nice polish on them. And one will go in each case and be able to come out if the owner wants to switch the use of the case rather than putting a floating shelf in the case. Here they are sitting there waiting for delivery. I think they came out pretty nice. I'm very happy with the uh, color of the ribbon striped mahogany against the walnut. I think that really is a nice accent. And you'll see in his home it's going to be next to some uh, spalted maple shelving so I think it'll uh, really offset that light color nicely. Here they are on the wall. I installed them this afternoon. Hard to photograph because of the glass, but you can see the blocks that raise up some of the statues, and uh, the top pieces are in place. It's screwed through the top behind that angled piece into the wall studs, so it's very secure, and pieces could be put on top of them if he likes. I think they turned out pretty good. You can see they're in a nice home in that reflection of the glass. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope to post something new soon. I'm starting a new project very soon. See you then.